Have you seen the episode 2 of Rock Paper Scissors anime by Corridor Crew? They did an amazing job by combining AI with other VFX techniques. They mentioned in the breakdown video that they've used Warp Fusion for this animation. Warp Fusion is an AI animation tool by Alex. It runs on Colab and Local. Warp Fusion gives extremely stylized animations with a lot of consistency, which you don't get in image to image. Although Warp Fusion gives great results, it needs a lot of GPU to run locally. Even with 8 GB graphics card, we'll end up with a lot of CUDA errors. You can run it on Google Colab, of course, but I was wondering, is it possible to make this kind of anime indie forum with so much consistency? Well, that's what we're gonna try in this video. We obviously won't be able to get the exact style that Quarto Crew got because they've trained their own style and characters, but we can try to get close. And this video is mostly about the consistency that they got. For this video, I'm using a short clip from the movie Kung Fu Hustle. The first and most important thing that we need to get this anime look is the model. I was looking for a model that can give us a similar anime look, and I found these three models that can help us with that: Flat 2D Anime Worlds, Mistoon Anime, and Cardus Anime. I wrote a short and basic prompt to get anime look. With the sampling steps 20, CFG scale 7.5, and 0.4 denoise, and I'm using three control nets here: soft edge, which control net is more important, and low back enable, temporal net again with low back enable, and finally tile with 0.6 weight, 0.2 start, and 0.75 ending control step. Now this is what the result looks like in flat 2D anime world. I compared the result with same settings in Mistoon anime and Cardos anime. Here's what it looks like in the three models. I like the color and shades in the flat 2D anime world. It has more details on the shirt and more shadows, which is kind of similar to what Corridor Crew has got in their anime. I think I'll go with flat 2D anime world. Let's go to the forum now. I've already loaded the settings for this anime look, and we'll go over the important settings one by one. All the settings in run are pretty much similar to what we had in image to image. In the keyframes, I'm using the 2D animation mode. The strength scheduled as 0.6. If you remember, the denoise strength I used in image to image was 0.4. Strength schedule is basically the opposite of denoise strength. That's why we're using 0.6 for strength schedule, 7.5 CFG, and we'll keep the seed fixed. You don't have to change anything in motion. For noise, reduce it to zero. Disable noise multiplier scheduling. In coherence, choose video input. Enable legacy color match. And for the anti blur, make it zero. For the prompt, I copied the exact prompt from image to image. If you want to change prompt at some point in the video, you can add keyframes by entering comma, going to the next line, and entering the frame number, and then giving the prompt. Make sure you don't have comma at end of the last keyframe. In the init tab, you don't need to give any init image. But you have to change the strength here. You have to change strength at both places, in keyframe and in init. The strength value you give in init is used for the first frame that is generated, and in the video init, give path for your video. And the control net tab enable the control nets just like you did in the image to me. Coming to hybrid video, I'm using normal for the hybrid composite and optical flow for hybrid motion. Even in the Corridor Crew breakdown video, they talk about optical flow in Warp Fusion, which helps in maintaining the consistency. It looks at the previously generated frame and creates a smooth motion between the two. For the flow method, I'm using DIS Medium. To be honest, I'm not really sure what's the difference between these four flow methods, but if you want, I can make a video comparing these four methods. Let me know if you want me to make the video in comments below. And the next thing is hybrid schedules. Over here, we have this option Comp Alpha Schedule. As the information here says, 
it controls how much of the composite video is mixed. The default value is 0.5, it means you get 50% of details from the previously generated frame. I decided to go with 0.9 as it was giving better results for this clip. You can of course mess around with different values for this. And finally for the output, you need to make sure you have the same value for FPS as the original video. And for the soundtrack, I'm choosing init video. This will automatically add the audio from the original video. I will run this now and let's see what we get. Well, 44% of the animation is done and we have a problem. I'm gonna interrupt it. Let's see what the problem is. When a video is generating, you wanna make sure you check the results often because you might run into problems like this. Now if we look at the generated frames here, this video does not have any scene change till 104. It was going good, but from 105, there is a scene change. If you notice this, it is taking the details from this frame and merging it with this one. So we see a face and it has a lot of bad details in the sky. It just looks really bad. Although it loses the details as we go on, but the frames are still bad. I think it's because of comp alpha schedule. We can solve this in two ways. You can either split up each scene and run them individually, or we can add keyframes in comp alpha schedule. I'll go ahead and add keyframes here to see if it works. A simpler way to add keyframes is going to input frames and look at the scene change frame number from here. At frame 105 there is a scene change, 194, 227. So I'll go over each scene change and add keyframes there. Alright, so I've added all the keyframes. Notice how I've added keyframe for the frame before and after the scene change. If you don't add this keyframe before the scene change, it will not maintain 0.9 alpha schedule for all the frames between 0 and 105. That's why we need to have a keyframe just before 105 and also after this. So this way I've added keyframes for all the scene changes. Now before we hit generate, I have to delete all the bad frames. And you need to copy this time string before the underscore paste it in resume time string over here and hit generate. This way, we will start from the last frame that is available in the folder. It okay, looks like there is something wrong. Let me check in the comp alpha schedule. Looks like I have missed a colon here. If you are getting errors like this, make sure to check all the keyframes properly and look for all the colons. So I'll paste the resume string again and generate it. Okay, so the frame after the first scene change is now generated. Let's see how this looks like. So yeah, the problem that we were getting earlier is now resolved. As you can see, it does not have the faces now and the bad details are also gone. So it is possible to get consistent anime look in the forum just like Warp Fusion. I have to keep in mind that the lighting and colors in the original video affect the animation a lot. And you have to mess around with strength schedule, CFG and the comp alpha schedule to get the results that you like. You can also mess around with prompts a little, try different models until you get the result you want. And you can also try to change the VAE. I have used KLF8 anime 2 VAE for this one. Link to this also will be in description below. Alright, I let the animation play now. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.